Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Randall Hawks. What's happening in the house? Look where I'm at. Look, look. I don't want to scare them, but they said, hey, Miss Hardy, you're amazing. You should come out here more often. And I said, hey, guys, you're pretty awesome yourself. And they were like, you're the best light. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going off on a tangent. Look out of the land lab. Look who I found. Oh, Miss Minnie So what's going on? Oh, just hanging out with the chickens, with the goats, and with the pigs. I know we're not socially distancing, but we're okay. We're not sneezing on each other. We're good. Um, how are you handling quarantine? Not very well. I miss everybody. I miss like having to see y'all and do stuff with y'all and versus all this online stuff. But I'm hanging in there. I'm safe. I'm doing well. She's doing well. She's doing well. And the Land Lab is thriving. There are, I think, two or three students out here today taking care of their peeps. Not peeps, but animals you know what I mean um just everything so let's walk around and do we have any newbies like babies, like babies. yes <gasps> over here. we've got babies baby goats we got baby goats baby goats and totes a baby goat is called a kid it's called a kid a baby goat is called a kid mm -hmm. baby goats and totes isn't that a commercial for poopery baby goats and totes <laughs> oh here, here's one that's out may we video Hi, Bubby. Shiloh. 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 It's hard when you can only do one angle. Hi, Shiloh. <laughs> I got in your space. There you go. Oh. And who does Shiloh belong to? Chris. Look at him walking away. <laughs> Nick, what's happening? Nothing. Mom, do I have permission to put him on the morning show for YouTube? No? Okay. <laughs> Nick does not want to. I know I'm intimidating. Look, look at all this beauty. So, it's good. We won't put him on, but we are putting on Shiloh. That's Shiloh. And he's eating. She. She is eating. Oh, there's a sun behind me, too. <gasps> look at the babies. There's three. This one is Winnie. The blonde one is Winnie. I honestly don't know the name of these others, too. Astros and something. Want to see the camera? Oh, say hi. But they're very new. A couple weeks old. So explain to us mm -hmm. the horn situation. So goats have horns naturally. And to be a show goat, they cannot have horns. So the circles you see on the tops of their heads, um, that's from the horns being removed. And we call that disbudding. Um, and that's so that they can uh, grow up and be very pretty show goats. Show goats. And it doesn't hurt them when that happens? Um, this it's does. It's like filing your nail? Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's essentially like filing your nail a little okay. too short. But so it's not inhumane or it anything? Is not. Like, it is okay, not. Okay, when they suck okay. on your finger, does that hurt? Nope. They okay. have teeth. They Ready? do have teeth. But they're trying to, they're trying to nurse is what's happening here. Oh my goodness, they're sucking on my finger. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I hope my phone's catching that because I can't see what you're catching. Oh, oh. I'm telling you, my producer's not very good. They are the stinking cutest. And then there's one in the very back. You can see his butt. Mm hmm. She went on some hay. All, All right. right. All right. Well, thank you for showing us. Anything else we got going on? The goats belong to school. It's Adam in there feeding them. Hey, Adam. Can you be on the morning show real quick? Say hi, Adam. Do you miss school? No. <laughs> Do you miss the goats? He's up here all the time. Oh, you're up here all the time. Well, Adam, thank you for giving your time for the school. Uh, we got the pigs. We I'm walking. I like the pigs. I'm walking. Up. So as we walk, let's see here. Yes. This is, we're going to do rapid fire, but i got to make up the questions. Okay. Ready? Yes. Flying, yes or no? Yes. Trains, yes or no? Yes. Hiking or swimming? Swimming. Mountains or ocean? Mountains. Oh, swimming. Yeah, yeah. mountains. Yes. Uh, ta ta ta, -ta. Yeah. Um, Tacos or burritos? Tacos. Gosh, she's really good. I can't keep <laughs> up, people. <laughs> um, um, Burger King, McDonald's? McDonald's. Outback or Longhorn? Outback. <laughs> I tried to catch her there. She works at Outback, people. Um, um, 
biggest pet peeve. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know. I stumped her. You did. I stumped her. You stumped I stumped her. You got me. Okay. You did. The best compliment somebody could give somebody. Uh, saying thank you. Look how simple that is. Just saying thank you for all the hard work they do. Being genuine about it. Mm -hmm. Being genuine. Favorite grade when you were in school? Mm, I would have to say probably fifth grade. And what made you become a teacher? Uh, my ag teacher from high school, actually. Miss uh, Miss Cesario is at Strawberry Crest now. Very cool. <laughs> I had to make up rapid fire. She kicked my butt <laughs> at it. She, I think she might win... <laughs> Award. Okay, let's look right. at a pig. All right, this is Don't Tootsie. Don't get hungry when you look at it. No, this is Tootsie. This is Tipsy? Tootsie. Tootsie. Like Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. I'm we'll gonna put it in roll. there. Yeah. Tootsie. Oh, yeah. She, uh, there you are. she probably weighs about 300 pounds. And uh, she is a, um, a former show pig. And uh, we are gonna keep her and we're gonna breed her and have little Tootsie babies. <gasps> oh. Yeah. So she's just this big old. Big old eating machine right now. But she's very, well, she'll try to bite you, but she's very sweet. Is it true that pigs eat anything? Uh, yeah. Just about. Really? Yeah. If they don't eat it, they chew on it. They like to test out your shoes or your pants or So they're like a forever puppy. On. Yeah, pretty much. Like a big giant puppy. So is this full grown? Is Tootsie? She is not full grown. Wow. Uh, full grown, they can weigh between eight and 900 pounds for a sow, which, or a... She's a guilt. She has a piece. <gasps> oh, there she goes. She said hi to you. Did you hear that? <laughs> and so, is it true that pigs are smarter than dogs? Uh, pigs have the uh, intelligence of a three-year-old <laughs> child. <laughs> Did you see his nose? <laughs> okay, intelligence of a what? Three-year-old. Oh. They're as smart as a three-year-old. Wow. How fast can you put a puzzle together? Oh, I'm missing an opposable thumb. I know. Thank you, Tootsie. I love that you're going right into my camera. You might be the winner. Yes, you might. <laughs> All right, what else? All right, we got uh, three more pigs. This is Olive. She's a little itchy from the heat, uh, but she is a pot belly. Okay. And uh, she, so the one over there in the corner, Petunia, that's her mom. Oh, so Petunia is Olive's mom, and Petunia came to us, and she was pregnant, and we didn't know that. Um, so, but now we have Olive, and then that is Fleur, right there. Fleur? Fleur, which is French for flower. And now, um, do they all have skin issues in the heat? Uh, yeah, they okay. do. They get a little itchy, and then they start scratching, so that's why they look like that. But we give them baths, and you see we put medicine on them to help them out, so keep them less itchy. So, to take care of these animals, do y'all have to come up here, like, every day? Yes. So, pigs, um, especially the show pigs, they get fed twice a day. Twice so a day. have to come up twice a day. Uh, so, major them. kudos to all my people in <laughs> ag, because you're having to come to Randall. Um, yep. But as we know, any kind of animal is a responsibility. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to choose to have any kind of animal, whether it be a rabbit, a chicken, mm -hmm. a dog, a kitten... That animal has to come first because it's a living thing. Yep. They can't feed Hello. You want to say hi to the camera? Oh, <laughs> I think that's going to be a great shot of you. <laughs> yes, you are. You're going to be discovered. He re she reminds me of, um, see if they do that too. What are they doing? She's like, I don't know if it's like grinding what? her teeth or I don't know. She reminds me of Pumbaa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do they play with the balls? Uh, sometimes they will. All right. We put them in there to give them the option. This is Fleur. She is just a mini pig, but she's one of our, her and Olive are probably the friendliest that we have. And she'll, if you pet her, she'll roll over and let you rub her belly. Aww. Yeah. So, she's been here almost three years. Okay. She has. So, and then that's Petunia back there. She's not friendly. She don't like people. Petunia! She's not happy. She probably it. smells like a petunia. Mm, yeah. <gasps> this is Tamale. He tamale. is a, he's a boy. Oh, so he's I want a, to pet his goatee. <laughs> so he's a buck. Say hi. He, 
He is the dad of those baby goats you saw earlier. Oh, okay. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. And boy goats smell really bad. Why is that? Um, it's part of their, like, how they attract the females. So <laughs> You I boys don't, don't fart and think <laughs> that the girls are going to be flocking to you. Uh, no, because it's very stinky. Uh, they pee on themselves. They're very musky. <laughs> Um, it's very disgusting. We should write a middle school dating <laughs> book. <laughs> what not to what do. What not to do. We're not so, making fun of you. Go ahead and pee on yourself. So that's what they do. But it's part of the, the goat world. Yep. Can you, see, can you smell it? Can you smell that? Uh, I can mm -hmm. smell it. That's, mm -hmm. that's him. Aww. That's now, do they all good. have, like, the goatees? Uh, most or is males, that a kind of animal? Okay. Uh, no, it's a it's a male trait. They That's kind of how you distinguish a lot of times. You male can, and female. Yeah. So they have a lot more hair. Are it also depends on the breed. Male goats, female goats, which one tend to be more aggressive? Or does it matter? Just um, personality. Things. It's personality. Males, it's more of a, um, it's not necessarily an aggression. It's more of a dominance. Okay. I think kind of like with dogs, you know, when dogs climb up on you or anything like that it's male dogs it's the same concept it's a it's a dominance like they're dominating you very good all right anything else yes. happening out here that's all we got we got now. some plants still growing yeah if y'all uh, planted those uh, green beans with miss andrews that's what they're doing right now they're growing up the trellis oh they grow up yeah interesting and then the green bean is on the vine itself uh, uh yeah once they start to grow I think they're called like yard beans or something like that, or foot long beans. Okay. They get a foot long. No, they don't. Yeah. We're walking. Can you tell we're walking? <laughs> ah, ah. Nope. So, yeah, you can see they're starting to produce here. Oh, Lord. There's and they beans. get to be a foot long? Yeah, they get real big. There's and then when you pull here. them off, you just kind of snap them? Yeah. Is that what you see? You the off. southerner sitting on the front porch? Yeah, so you like snap the top off. Uh huh. So then you take that off, and then you can cook that and eat it on the inside. You can see. It's a green there's bean, little, people. There's little beans in now there. Now, if I plant that bean. Yes, you can grow more of this. <gasps> Very Absolutely. cool. That right there will grow more. Yep. See, so you could do this at home. <laughs> Walmart sells these beans. Yeah, anywhere sells them. And here we got some stuff blooming. Um, I'm not sure if it's probably some kind of squash or zucchini or something like that. But these blossoms, they uh -huh. will turn into the actual um, vegetable itself. Very cool. So a nice summer project mm -hmm. for people. And look, there's not a lot of design set up. You got some poles. Some you string. got some string wire. Mm -hmm. Yep. You right could become the next, I don't know, famous gardener. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Minidal, Miss Andrews. All right, Miss Andrews, thanks so much for joining me today out here. It's beautiful. You and Miss Andrews have done an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you for what you do and making sure our animals, because we do love our animals, are taken care of. Any last words for your students? I miss you all. All right. Peace.